As U.S. forces fought their way across the Pacific in World War II, Armed Forces Radio was never far behind. You are listening to the Armed Forces Radio Service. Some programs were recorded right in the war zone, others produced stateside by a generous U.S. entertainment industry and sent overseas on what were called V-discs. V was for victory. Thanks from America to all our men in blue, our boys in khaki too. Armed Forces Radio went with U.S. forces to Korea and to Vietnam. This is AFVN, serving the American fighting man 24 hours a day from the Delta to the DMZ. By now, there were pictures and an expanded name, the Armed Forces Radio and Television Service. America's favorite television programs were recorded on black and white film and shipped to stations overseas. In the early days, live radio news and sports went out from giant shortwave transmitters to troops around the world. Today, from its broadcast center in Los Angeles, AFRTS uses seven satellites to send radio and television programs to overseas networks and stations that serve more than a million service members and their families stationed in 120 countries and on Navy ships at sea. And when U.S. forces went to the Middle East for Operation Desert Shield in 1990, AFRTS went along too. FM radio and television stations followed the troops all the way to Kuwait City. Susan says she loves you and she wants you to know that a country boy can survive. The Armed Forces Desert Network dished out 30 minutes of stateside news every hour. But though the technology has changed, the AFRTS mission remains the same, to bring a little bit of home to service men and women far away. Warren Lee, Armed Forces Radio and Television Service, Washington.